Lizzie, the ice cream fairy. Once upon a time, in a sandy, sandy land, lived Lizzie, Bowie, and Mia at a pretty ice cream stand. The fairy friends scoop ice cream from their favorite ice cream well to sell in rainbow fairies in a crispy water shell. And for a treat, their fairy wands send showers in all directions. Of the candy drawers, the and chocolate chips. To the top, the ice confessions. They save up every penny to fund their carnival float. And every year for best in show, they won the fairies vote. Then, every one summer, they peer inside their well, expecting flowery ice cream. But there was nothing left to sell. The well had run completely dry. Why? They have no clue. But being model fairies, they knew just what to do. Lizzie served the fairy net for places cold and teeny, with ice cream in a balance, with ice cream in abundance. The results were just too silly. If you set them fast enough, they sound almost right. But two made Lizzie laugh out loud. And why was this a fright? Where can I find ice cream? Tap, tap, tap. Ice cream? No, that's not right. My ice cream? No, that's not right. Ice cream? No, that's definitely not right. Tap, tap, tap. Ice cream, yes! Lizzie finally found a place with no horns, sea, or sand. It was far away, but perfect. She discovered ice cream land. Without delay, the friends took flight to a place of ice cream mountains where sparkles falling from the sky and fruit-filled seal fountains. Welcome to our magical land, said the Majesty the Queen. It's such a lovely place to live, but there's just too much ice cream. You see, it covers everything, so things are getting lost. I'm sure my bike is somewhere here, buried in the frost. Lizzie said, that's funny. Our land is warm and sunny. And since our ice cream well run dry, we can't make any money. Can we work together? This feels like such good luck. Grab the shovel, said the queen. And I will call Ray a truck. They dug and dug and dug and dug until it was quite clear. The ice cream hall will be enough. It lasts at least a year. The journey home was hampered by fog and long dark nights. So Mu and Mia led the path with lanterns and fairy lights. The trip took so much longer. 
Stanley she fought its wood. And as they neared the beach, she cried. Oh no, it isn't good. The carnival starts today. Whatever we rewrite, <laughs> it's way too late to make our float. Our hands are simply tied. But fortune have for Lizzy one last big surprise. All along the road, head ahead, were floats of every sight. The fairy's truck draw the light with its beautiful growing light. It was just as a good as a carnival float. A splendid, sparkly sp sp sight. The fairies got to work, serving ice cream to the crowd. They have never felt so proud. And their float did not win best in show. But Lizzie didn't mind. For the love and joy and fear that day. For the prize of the better kind. The end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.